Hello everyone. While we're on the message of hearing protection and in-ear monitoring and reducing the overall level uh, to our ears uh, to protect our hearing, one thing that I'm very, very fond of and that does all these things is my in-ear monitors. Um, these are audio technicas. They're not expensive. They're a single driver. You can get different brands uh, with uh, two drivers or three drivers and sometimes even four drivers and they just cover more of the frequency range. Uh, so if you wanted say more bottom end you could go for the four driver version. They're more expensive obviously but they sound, uh, they sound better. Now I find these quite adequate and how they work and the first thing that you absolutely must do is that little rubber bit at the end which is removable you must find and try the right size so that when you slip it over your ear and into your ear canal it actually gets achieves a very good seal the seal is important for two reasons once you achieve a good seal it cuts out most of the outside sound which is what you want because then your volume in here is not competing with that sound out there and the other thing is you get far better bass response if these things seal properly so when you get them try all the different sizes and see which one gives you the most successful seal and you'll know straight away because it'll cut out most of that outside sound so how they work you hook them over your ears, you plug them in and there's a little uh, loop on the back here which you pull down so they and you can bend the the bits that go over your ears, they're, they're kind of stiffer so they stay in place until you get a good seal and nice and tightly around the back of your head and then the other end uh, comes with an adapter so you can plug it into a headphone amplifier your mixing desk whatever system it is that you use to achieve this I'm just going to take these off so I can actually hear myself um, so yes the important thing achieve a good seal for those reasons uh, make sure they fit comfortably bend these bits around your ears and that can go to, I plug this directly into the mixing desk and I uh, uh, pre-fade listen to my send. Sometimes I will uh, add a cable from uh, auxiliary output to a headphone amplifier and then I'll sit down on my music stand and I've got the volume right in front of me. And what I generally do is bring that volume up until it's at a comfortable level and then I'll work on the mix and I'll have probably a little bit more bass in the mix um, than anything else but I can balance uh, my own personal mix in my ears without affecting anybody else's mix or the front of house uh, what allows you to do this is a, a any good digital uh, mixer and we use an Allen and Heath system and that has all these sends on the side here and I can use my iPhone and my iPad and I can tweak the individual levels that I want to hear and the overall level I can EQ I can even add a compressor to limit those peaks that sometimes come through you know overexcited drummer with a snare that sort of thing uh, and, and the objective of that is to be able to hear everything uh, in very high detail and very good quality without exposing your ears to dangerous uh, levels of sound. Now, it's critically important that we keep these levels low and it's also critically important that you have a good seal. The good seal means that you can keep that level low and you're not competing with the sound 
from the outside. When you put in the in-ear monitors, uh, you lose the room. You can't hear the ambience of the room anymore. And on some systems, or sometimes you can add, like just a microphone just pointing out into the room, and have control of that. And that will give you that ambience if that's what you really want to hear. But again, at a safe level. So there's all these different systems for doing that. If you move around a lot, you can still use this system with a wireless belt pack and a transmitter. And you can buy these units and Sennheiser make them and Shaw make them and all the top brand names make these. And you just put it on your belt clip along with your, your guitar wireless or whatever, it, wireless microphone, whatever you're using. And, and then you can move around you can still have this pristine sound wherever you go. Um, I'm a great believer in using these at a very safe and sane level to protect your hearing, our most important asset, like we discussed with the, with the earplug uh, video. So if you have the system that allows you to use that, sometimes a lot of sound guys will be able to send you a mix. Maybe you can't exactly affect the mix yourself, but they will send you a sort of balanced mix and you can use that. And that will protect your hearing and you will get a great sound. Now having said that, it's very, very easy to turn these things up to a level where they will damage your hearing. So it's up to you to make sure that you keep them at a safe level. And you can look up charts online that will tell you what these safe levels are. A little bit hard to measure for us in sort of decibels, but you will know a comfortable listening level that is not loud. So if somebody, say, has uh, some earbuds in on their iPhone, they're listening to music, and you're sitting next to them and you can hear that music from the back of the earbud, that's way too loud. That's just hearing damaging levels right there, and it's really easy to do, which is why I stress this point. You need to keep the level low. So have a look into some of these in-ear monitors and some of these systems. As I said, we use an Allen and Heath system Everybody in the band has the in-ear monitors, either wired or wirelessly. Everybody has control of their own mix. Um, in, in beginning, you may find that if you're playing bass, it's, it feels a little bit odd because you're used to the rumble from your amplifier sitting right behind you, and and you, you, you can feel it through the floor. When you have, like me, have no amplifier, you don't actually have, feel that uh, rumble through the floor unless the subs are sitting on the stage and providing it for you. Um, but you, once you get that seal uh, proper, you can hear right down to the very low notes in, in great detail and clarity and with enough bottom end to satisfy you as a bass player. So I hope this video helps get you started into at least inquiring about these in-ear monitor systems, finding out how they work, how they can work for you, and uh, most importantly, it's, uh, it's to be able to use them to get a great sound and a great mix in your ears and to protect your hearing, your most valuable asset. So once again, thanks for watching. Keep well, keep making music, keep playing bass or whatever instrument you play, uh, whether it's guitar or drums or saxophone or trumpet or flugelhorn, doesn't really matter. We're all musicians. Uh, we're all out there doing the same thing. So keep well and I'll catch you at the next video. See you later, guys.